So that was my peaceful harbor. Restaurant of Cabeludo. Yesterday was a very difficult day for me. Uh, the road was uh, quite bad. And then it started to rain and it just destroyed the road and uh, it was getting dark already and uh, my bike began to, to heat up and I didn't know what to do. And I just I found this place and uh, it, was, it was so nice. And I met amazing people and I think that we immediately became friends and uh, I'm, I'm very thankful uh, to them for their help and uh, I really hope that one day I will see them again. Consegui! Ah! Uau! Muito obrigada! Uau! Conhece? Que delícia! E combustível não tem? Ah! Obrigada! Yesterday I had a little problem with my bike because uh, it was very hot and uh, I ran out of uh, the coolant. So, but luckily I got to this restaurant. Como se llama restaurant de Cabeludo? And my friends helped me and uh, oh, um, they got this coolant from Realidade and all of the guests and now we have to send the bike and I'm ready to go. ¿Y cuántos años para este cabelo. Doze. Doze anos, sem cortar. Uau. Como é essa estrada por aí? Molada? Bem pouquinho, bem pouquinho. Pouquinho? last difficult stretch but uh, the road is dry so it's much easier now than yesterday the last kilometer is still Realidad where there is a gas station
So these yeah. are my friends that I met yesterday on the road. They are riding this um, this truck, and at that moment I stopped at the bridge, and I was a little bit scared and tired. So they stopped to ask if I need any help. And today I arrived to Realidad to this petrol station, and here they are! Surprise, surprise! <laughs> and they said that they were just talking about me if I passed or not, and uh, I and I arrived at the petrol station. So that was really nice. And they invited me to, to have dinner with them before I continue to Umaitai. We don't understand anything. It's so nice. <laughs> but I think <laughs> the community of uh, Realidad. I filled up my fuel tank and now the last stretch of uh, 70 kilometers till the end of off-road. So this is the last stretch until the real uh, paved road starts and uh, uh, what can I say so I filled up my fuel tank in realidad so now I'm fine with, uh, with fuel yesterday I think it was uh, the most difficult day because uh, the stretch of the road of like 80 kilometers was a real challenge, uh, was very bumpy, a lot of potholes, but I mean, <laughs> it's not that I'm surprised with the potholes, but those were like real swimming pools and sometimes you just cannot bypass them, you have to, to go inside. <laughs> so there's no way that you can ride fast and uh, you, you have to be always concentrated and to, to, to keep the bike because it's always, you know, like bouncing. And then, at the end of the day, the rain started. Um, 
and it just it ruined the road just in a minute and uh, like last 10 kilometers was a real mess and uh, some of the trucks were stuck in the mud and I was stuck as well a few times but that's when and that's how actually I learned about this kind of uh, um, the sense of community like um, people stop to help each other or even to, to ask if uh, if one needs any, any help a lot of trucks a lot of bikes they stop to ask if I need help anyway I was just very slow and I didn't want to drop my bike really uh, it's not that I wouldn't get help I would it just I didn't want <laughs> to drop the bike and I made it uh, I was just really really tired and I got to my destination that restaurant of Cabaludo. <laughs> uh, it was dark already and I cannot even describe how tired I was but also I was so happy that I made it safe and these nice people they just uh, like surrounded me with care and with, uh, with support that was amazing so um, I'm really happy that I'm uh, I decided to ride this road. I learned a lot actually, uh, not just about the road, about people, about myself as well. And um, there's not a second that I regretted that I'm riding this road. And I wouldn't mind to come back. Even though I think that it will never be the same like, uh, like I've known it now because they promised that they will pave it. Maybe in a year or two, um, it will be different, uh, definitely. Uh, but I will remember the way it is now and um, I just now I enjoy every every moment of it yeah thank you thank you BR 319 <laughs>
but uh, well, quite manageable if you take it easy, uh, if you don't uh, kind of overrate your skills probably. I think that if you ride slowly and uh, in a humble manner, you'll be fine, you and your bike. Especially that uh, there are a lot of nice people on the way uh, who are the same travelers or people who work on this road like truck drivers etc and they understand your challenges and they are really eager to help uh, this road uh, it's uh, it has like different nicknames one of them is uh, Phantasma Road the ghost road is that it used to be really empty nowadays it's kind of it's not that empty anymore but still um, Still, there are not so many people, not so many vehicles, uh, at some point no gas station, so you have to be prepared for that. And also they call this road mutating road, because it's never possible to, to say um, what is the condition of the road, because it changes like uh, very often depending on the rain, on the, uh, I think, different factors as well. So. <laughs> You have to be prepared for everything, and uh, yeah. Well, I'm very tired, but I'm very happy, and I'm very excited, yeah. <laughs> but I need some rest and good shower.